Hey, welcome back. And in this video, I'll be showing you how I painted these little moth things with tiny little skulls and how I got that fuzzy effect on them. And I'm painting in Procreate on an iPad Pro, by the way. So to start the little fuzzy body part of the moth, I went into the brush section on Procreate and tapped on touch-ups. And under touch-ups, they have a short hair brush. And I used that for all of this, pretty much. And so basically all I did was use that brush. I got a gray color to act as like a highlight for the fuzziness. Um, that is like supposed to be black. So I just got a gray color and I used tiny little strokes all around the body to just show that there's fuzz and it's like rounded. And anywhere where the furs were hit by the direct light, I just did more of those strokes. After that, I grabbed a gouache brush. You can use any brush that has a pretty even but textured finish to it. And you're just going to paint a tiny little skull. And I copied and pasted that onto all of the other moths just because we're going to be distorting each one later so they will all look unique. But just to save time and have the basic image of the skull for all of them, it, I just did this to save time. At this point, I already spent 30 hours on this painting so I was like ready to get it done.
And right here, I'm just going to clean up the edges of the moth wings just to give them an extra crisp look. And I just used the medium hard airbrushing brush in Procreate. It's underneath the section airbrushes. After I merged all the skull layers together just to create a cleaner file, I then went in with the fine hair touch up brush in Procreate and I used that to smudge some of the white skull into the black fur behind it and this blurred it up just a bit. After blurring and blending the skull into the fur a little bit, I went back in with the same fine hair brush I used earlier to smudge, but this time I'm going to be painting with it using just white. So 
So what I'm doing here is I am starting the brush stroke somewhere within the skull using that fine hairbrush and I'm flicking it out in the direction that the fuzz is growing in. And this just really makes it look like there is white fuzz. It's just in that pattern of a skull. And I would do this to all of the higher points of the moth's body. That way it kind of shows some of the white fur has highlights going on. There's some areas where there's more shading because it's made out of fur and it just adds to the overall fuzzy look. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If there is a tutorial you would like me to go over in the future, let me know in the comments section down below. The next video will be going over how I made these red drips and how I made it look liquidy. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye!